Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Yemi. Today we're in the kitchen and I'm making the peanut soup or the granite soup. So come along and cook with me. Well, that was the plan until I accidentally formatted my card and lost all the videos of me cooking the granite soup. I was able to get a few back, which is what you see here. So I decided to do it how to make fufu video and um, should do a mukbang. Traditionally, fufu is made from yams and that's the African yam. And the yams are very high in carbohydrates. Over the years, they have looked for ways for people to continue to have fufu without, you know, packing on the sugar and the carbohydrates. Plantains are good. They have carbs, but not as high as what you would find in yams. They're very high in fiber. They have vitamins. And um, I usually start with water in my saucepan. I let it be like lukewarm. And here I have about maybe one and a half cups. I just eyeball really. And um, once it warms up a little bit, you put the powder in. Once the powder gets in, you don't want it to just sit because it will become lumpy. Just start to mix it up. Uh, mix it up to avoid lumps. And as you're mixing it up, if you have a feel for the texture that you want if you want it to be light or thick it depends on you know the the amount of water it depends on the amount of water that you begin to just kind of put in maybe to make it a little bit lighter i like my fufu not to be too hard so um, once the powder is in you have to continue mixing it if you don't and you just let it sit it would you know form lumps so mix it very well, mix it, mix it. It's just like, uh, mix it into a dough. It's like you're baking, right? Except, uh, you know, it's on the stove. So <laughs> once you uh, mix it and you have a good consistency, you put it on low fire, put a little bit of water in it, around it so it doesn't burn. And that water will let it, you know, cook very well. You can cover it for maybe another five minutes. Once it's covered and on stove for five minutes, you go back again. And usually the color would change. You know, um, this one was white and then it changed to yellow. So it depends on the type of fufu that you're making, but you see a difference in the color. Once you know that difference, you know that it is done and also in the way it would taste as well. Once you have that, you can now, um, of course, make it a little bit more moldy and smooth and serve and it is ready to eat let's eat oh my god look at the plantain fufu mm, nice and i'm gonna be digging in oh my goodness It is very spicy. Look at my bok choy. Very crunchy. It's hard to find a comfortable place that my head will show, maybe with time. But this is really good. Ooh.
this soup, this is my first time eating this. And I'm loving my choice of vegetables. Because I put in the broccoli and I put in the bok choy. You could use any vegetable, really. But I love that this one's, you know, they're still very crunchy in there. And you could hardly taste peanuts. It doesn't taste like peanutty. <laughs> it tastes like peanut. Um, it just comes together very well. And I, I, I think I, I, I really like it. So have you guys ever tried this before? Let me know. Leave me a comment if you've tried it before. Um, this granite soup or peanut soup, I've seen that they have in, in different parts of Africa. In Nigeria, they, they have it, I'm sure, but I've never had I've never had it before. This is my very first time, really, tasting this, making it and also eating it. Um, the lady that asked me to do this told me it was Cameroonian, but when I was looking at the recipe, they have it in Nigeria, they have it in Ghana, they have it in Cameroon as well. Um, so I don't know any other place that does. If you guys know, please leave it in the comment. How do you make yours? And if you give this a try, let me know how it turns out. Uh, very spicy. <clears throat> this tastes really good. The, of course, peanuts is good for you. It's good um, protein. The other thing, the plantain fufu, you could do any type of fufu, really. Actually, you could even eat it with rice. But I was going to ask you guys, when you eat your fufu, do you swallow it or do you chew on your fufu? I know it's called swallow, but I think I chew on my fufu. Chew some bites, swallow some bites. It ends up in my stomach. This is what we call finger licking. It's actually really good. <laughs> Not because I made it. And the broccoli, broccolini that I put. Just like meat to me.
Christmas is almost here. So if you're looking for something different, a different recipe for your family, you could give this a try. I think I need napkin. Ooh, I am full. Well, because of you guys. <laughs> Let me finish my food. Ah, this is good. I don't think I can finish this. This is food coma. Too much. Wow. All right, guys. I'm going to stop here. Even though this seems like a small amount, but I've been pushing myself. It's too much. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Leave a comment for me. If you guys want me to do something different, you have a recipe you want me to try, leave it in the comment section. Thank you. Bye.